वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑन बायोफार्मास्यूटिकल क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम दैट इज बीसीएस एंड फॉर्मुलेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज द इंपैक्ट ऑफ बीसीएस ऑन टू द फॉर्मुलेशन डिजाइन एंड फॉर्मुलेशन टेक्नोलॉजी व्हाट आर द क्रिटिकलिटीज एंड हाउ बीसीएस अफेक्ट्स द फॉर्मुलेशन डिजाइन दिस वीडियो विल मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द बीसीएस basics and the formulation requirements many of the time these questions are asked into the interviews and if you know the basic then you can answer those questions so let's start with the video for bcs the oral bioavailability and permeability is considered solubility of the molecule permeability of the molecule decides the bcs class that means the bcs classification of the drug substances or apis is based on to the solubility and the permeability and this solubility is mainly the bcs solubility it is not the equilibrium solubility or it is not the saturation solubility so you can classify the Uh, drug substance based on to the solubility and the permeability so solubility if it is high and permeability is also high that time it will fall into the bcs class 1 or in other words bcs class 1 drugs are highly soluble and highly permeable then bcs class 2 drugs are low soluble but are highly permeable then bcs class 3 drugs these are highly soluble and low permeable and bcs class 4 drugs are low soluble and low permeable so whenever there is a low permeability there will be lower bioavailability whenever there is low solubility that time also bioavailability may be lower but you can increase the solubility and you can get the good bioavailability but in low bio, bio low permeable drugs very limited options are available to improve the bioavailability so this is the basic now see what are the uh, basic uh, class 1 drug type and how the bcs class 1 drugs can be formulated so bcs class 1 drugs are highly soluble and highly permeable so no special formulation technology is required you can formulate these uh, apis into immediate release tablet capsules granules or powder for oral solution or oral solution this is very simple type of bcs class to make the formulation of easily solubilized and these are also easily absorbed so their bioavailability is high and that's why bioavailable bioavailable is possible for the highly bioavailable highly soluble type of bcs class 1 drug molecules formulations made with the bcs class 1 drugs and if these are rapidly dissolving then bioavailable option is possible considering the qualitative nature of the composition or quality qualitative composition so if you match the qualitative composition of innovator with test product and if you have rapid dissolution and if the drug molecule belongs to bcs class 1 then by waiver will be granted then coming to bcs class 2 these are low solubility uh, drugs and these drugs have high permeability so solubility affects the bioavailability and these are well absorbed so no worries are there for permeability just you have to improve the solubility and permeability will be high that's why improvement in solubility is required so whenever you are going to formulate the bcs class 2 drug molecules into Uh, formulations for oral administration always consider its particle size distribution 
sometimes micronized apis are used sometimes the apis with controlled particle size distribution are used sometimes surfactants co solvents are used and sometimes you can use the lipid based formulation technology so bcs class 2 drugs are little bit difficult to formulate compared to bcs class 1 and 3 then come to the bcs class 3 these are having the high solubility but their permeability is low so easy to solubilize but are poorly absorbed and as the solubility is not limiting the bioavailability for bcs class 3 also you can get the bioavailable considering your q1 and q2 is matching to the reference formulation so q1 is qualitative and q2 is quantitative composition so if you go to the ich requirement for bcs based bioavailable also you can refer us fda guidelines for bcs based bioavailables and you can get bioavailable for drug ir formulation containing the bcs class 3 drug substances so now if you have no worries for the solubility of the bcs class 3 apis then you should be worry about the permeability so permeability improvement uh, may work out for the bcs class 3 molecules and it can be done by use of the permeation enhancers you can select the salt form of the drug or you can use the pro drugs so that you can have the good permeability but generally the formulations are ir type of formulations for the bcs class 3 drugs sometimes bcs class 3 drugs are so can be formulated into extended release formulations because these are highly soluble and the permeation of the drug is low that's why the permeation enhancers can work out for improving the bioavailability now coming to the bcs class 4 so this is one of the most critical type of bcs class to uh, make the formulation these are the drug molecules which are low soluble and low permeable that's why their bioavailability is low very poorly absorbed and low bioavailable because of low solubility and low bioavailability and most critical technologies most special technologies are used to formulate the good formulation of bcs class 4 drug molecule you can use solid dispersion amorphous solid dispersion either by uh, spray drying or by hot melt extrusion you can go for liquid based formulations like uh, drug dissolved into the lipids and then uh, filled into the soft gelatin capsules or in the hard gelatin capsules so liquid based formulations can be the good strategy or technology for formulating the bcs class 4 drugs then use of surfactants can work out for some of the apis tight uh, the pst control that is particle size distribution control use of micronized api can work out and many of the times the combination technologies can be used like you are using micronized api you are using the surfactants or solubilizers and also you are using the solid dispersion technology or you are uh, filling the suspension along with the uh, solubilizer into the soft gelatin capsules so combination of the strategies can also be used but always have understanding that bcs class 4 molecules are very critical to formulate so this is the information regarding bcs class and formulation technologies i hope this video will help you to understand the criticality of the drug molecules uh, considering the bcs class for formulation mainly uh, bcs classification uh, is discussed for the oral uh, process form that may be solid orals or liquid orals so this is the 
uh, information regarding the PCS classification and the formulation technologies. Many of the time the questions are asked uh, like which is the most critical PCS class to formulate, which is the uh, very easy PCS class to formulate the uh, oral formulation or is there any technique to improve the permeability or is there any technique to improve the solubility. So these things are asked in the interviews. So thank you for watching the video and I will request you to please do like share and subscribe to this video and share uh, the videos in your friend circle. Thank you.